Hi there. You're in the lab with your mate, JJ. So today we continue on our, uh, our Maxitronics 10-in-1 uh, electronic project lab. Today we'll be doing experiment number eight. Uh, this experiment is the patrol car siren. So um, we'll, we'll pop you over to the booth. We'll put this thing together. And then that's, once that's done, we'll bring you over to the, uh, to the bench. We'll have a look at it under the scope. So let's get on with it. Here we are in the booth. We're going to be putting together our next circuit, which is the uh, patrol car siren. This is circuit number eight. So first of all, let's just pop out the uh, hookup wire from the previous uh, experiment. The previous experiment was the continuous wave transmitter. We created a, a, a signal uh, transmitter that could send a continuous wave to uh, an AM receiver. So that was project seven, just done previously. Um, and now we're going to continue with project number eight. Now I'll just pop you over to the book cam and tell you about this circuit. So this is circuit number eight, the patrol car siren. This circuit generates an audio frequency tone, which sounds like a siren when it is keyed. By connecting the transistor collector to one end of the transformer and the transistor base to the other end through the resistor, the circuit is made to oscillate. Whenever the key is depressed, the capacitor is switched into the circuit, changing the frequency. Keep pressing and releasing the key to produce the sound of the siren. So that looks like there's uh, eight wires to connect. The um, the, uh, the, the cabling diagrams on the top right and the schematic itself is down uh, on the bottom right there. So uh, just looking at that, we've got uh, the, uh, so the capacitor that we're using is the 0.05 microfarad ceramic capacitor. Actually, uh, all the capacitors in this particular project are ceramic capacitors. There's no electrolytes. Um, the 470K ohm uh, resistor is used. The uh, transformer is used. Uh, the MPN transistor is used and uh, the outputs through the terminal, oh, the earphone, sorry. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll plug that in when we take it over to the bench. So uh, let's pop you over here. Now, um, let's wire him up. So we've got 10 to 18. So 10 to 18 is connecting the, uh, the base of the uh, NPN transistor to one end of the 0 0.05 microfarad ceramic capacitor. And then we've got uh, 10 to 22. So that's gonna put, uh, the, the base of the uh, transistor again over to the uh, 470 kilo ohm resistor and then we've got 11 to 15 so uh, that's wiring in the uh, collector to 17 was it no 11 to 15 down here okay so we're connecting the collector to the transformer and 12 to 28 so we've got 12 is the emitter of the, of the transistor and 28 is the key. So we're just wiring the, uh, the emitter of the transistor over to our switch or as it's labeled the Morse key. Of course we don't use it for Morse in this particular experiment. Let's talk 28 and then we've got 13 to 23. 13 to 23. So that's uh, connecting the uh, transformer to the other end of the 470K um, resistor, that's the resistor, and uh, 14 to 26, 14 to 26. Okay, we're going to need a long one there, and that's putting in the uh, positive side of the power, 14 to 26, and 19 to 29, so we've got uh, 19 to 29, wiring in the uh, the Morse key to the other end of the ceramic capacitor, 19 to 29. <coughs> and the last one, 27 to 28, which is just putting in the, the, the back end of the power, so the negative uh, terminal through to the Morse key. And that's it, it's all, it's all made. So let's uh, pop over to the um, to the bench and let's have a look at this thing. Here we are on the bench. So we've just got to wire in our, um, our, uh, our earphone. I'll just uh, grab the schematic so we can see where we should do that. So, uh, okay. Interesting. Uh, again, this is, is using just, and I, I really, I, I can never get my head around this, but it only actually uses one end of the, uh, of the, of the uh, headphone. So the other one just gets wired to the pin 24, which is just one side of the, of the lamp. So it doesn't actually go anywhere. Um, and my friend Craig sent me a video that kind of explained that. So. The, the energy goes through the cable um, and that seems to be enough to cause the sound even though it can't flow anywhere it sort of rushes in there uh, and because it oscillates it keeps doing that and that makes the sound so uh, the other end of this is on pin 15 here so now I suppose where are we gonna connect I'm not exactly sure how we should probe this thing 
but let's say uh, <coughs> that we put the um, the negative side on um, on this end, and let's just see what what comes through onto the uh, onto the earphone. Why not? Now, uh, just going to hook in the power. So this is the negative power supply. All the power has been set up. It's just coming from my bench power supply. So um, we're going to use the key to um, to wire in the uh, the capacitor. And uh, and when, yeah, so uh, when we press the key down, uh, the capacitor will charge. And then when we release the key, the capacitor will discharge. I believe that's how this is going to work. I don't know how loud it's going to be, so I'll put the earphone in after I've turned the power on. So here we go, power on. There we go. Okay, not hearing much out of the, the... Oh, there we go. Yeah, right. I don't know if you can hear that, but... Uh, here it goes. So what about on the... Uh, yeah, it's, it's very low power. Um, let's just hold the... Let's run this on auto. Yeah, there you go. So, so the, the difference in tone is just basically because this goes from uh, 400 hertz to 260 hertz. 400 hertz, 260 hertz. So that, that, that uh, difference in frequency accounts for the difference in tone. And, uh, and the, the actual oscillator is me. I, uh, I, I, I oscillate the circuit. Um, by pressing and releasing the the, um, the key. So if we actually wanted to have a real uh, circuit that was doing uh, this, we'd need another oscillator. So one oscillator creates the tone, um, and so that's that tone, and then there's that tone, and then there's that tone, and then there's that tone. Uh, but that's me on the key. So, um, okay, well. Just <coughs> throwing over here. It's my glasses. So that one was really easy, wasn't it? That, that was nothing to it. So, um, uh, yeah, okay. Um, the, uh, the, the capacitor introduced into the circuit um, changes the, the, the oscillations. Um, but uh, it, it oscillates uh, even when the uh, capacitor is not in the circuit. So it just oscillates differently. Um, yeah. Anyway, we'll wind this up. Uh, there's two more uh, uh, circuits to go, uh, and the next one will be an audio frequency oscillator. So uh, I think that the patrol car siren that we just made is also an audio frequency oscillator. So uh, I'm not sure what the next circuit will be, but we'll check it out soon. Thanks for watching. If you want to see uh, the next video, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you again soon.